What's going on YouTube? Matt from Team Plays for Days here, giving you the deck profile from the Toronto, Canada uh, regional over the weekend. I placed third, so this is my deck profile. We're playing Ancient World with Captain Kaido as the buddy. Let's go ahead and get on into it. So first off with the size zeros, I run two. Kan Kan Kong. He was a very nice card. Um, I only really played him a couple times. But he was nice for, to get that extra push, to get that Jaeger, or to get Kaido off of his, uh, when he enters the field, you mill the top three and take a uh, size three Dragon Chief Emperor. Next, we play two of Psy. He's a very nice card and is what helps what makes God Jaeger broken. When he's in the soul of a Dragon Chief Emperor, he cannot, uh, your monster souls cannot be destroyed by monster effects. Then we play four. Bad guy Moda. Uh, came in extremely handy, um, especially against a lot of my matches. Um, pay life, drop him from your hand, draw a card. Then your monster gets plus 5,000 power, plus 5,000 defense. So it saved Jaeger a bunch of times, especially when I was playing stuff that was uh, had Penetrate. And then we play four. Healing Rin. Very nice. Gain a life. Um, drop her from your hand. You gain a life, gain a gauge. And then you have the option to put a card from the top of your deck into the soul of a Dragon Chief Emperor on your field. Um, I actually use this a lot to stack up souls into God Vortis, and it just made him a huge wall to get past. Um, then we play four Iron Tetsus. Um, very clutch card, uh, counter, drop him from your hand, pay a gauge, gain a life, nullify the attack of uh, your opponent's monster. Then, of course, we run four of the buddy. Kaido is a huge, huge main play. Um, if you got an original size two Dragon Chief Emperor on the field and you call Kaido, he becomes a size zero. So half the time you'll have a Kaido on your left and your right, and you'll have God Vortis right in the center, and you just got beat sticks plus his abilities, act as pay one gauge, and return a soul from either my field or my opponent's field to their hand. So if there's a, you know, a clutch card you need refreshed back to your hand, he's a great refresher. Then I run one of the new Ocean Dual Jaeger. Um, I actually really didn't see him that much, so I really didn't get to use his effect. Um, I actually am considering of taking him out and probably putting in Revolted into this build. Um... But I do like his effect. You mill the top three, and if they're all Dragon Chief Emperors, you know, he gets double attack for the turn, and he'll get Penetrate. Then I play two OG Martial Arts Chief Dual Jaeger. Um, he actually was one of my main plays also. Um, I actually won a match with just using him and no... Uh, God Jaeger. So he uh, he was nice because if you stack enough souls into him, his counter is pop a soul and get 10,000 defense to make him a 15k. Then we run three Great Ocean Hiking Dual Jaeger. Um, he is very nice. He does have Soul Guard. Um, and what's nice is you pop him down. You can drop a card from your hand to get something back from your drop. Uh, half the time I use him with a combo of Sturdy Dragon Strike to get Kaido's back or God Vortis out of my drop. And speaking of God Vortis, we run three. My MVP. Always played him. Naturally can get him off turn one. Um, can't be rested. He says no to a lot of things. He can't be rested. He can't be destroyed by card effects. He's got double attack, soul guard. Um, 
to call them, you have to put them on, you know, a size three with no souls, and that's what's nice about Kaido and returning souls and stuff. Uh, let's move on to the items. We run three of the anchor. Very good card. Uh, you can get an attack off with it, then counter, put it into the soul of a monster, and it gives that size three a uh, gives a penetrate. Then we run two Dragonic Termination. This card came in so handy for me. And it's not once per turn, which is nice. You just got to have a dual Jaeger on the field. You gain two gauge, gain two life. Like, this was very nice to have. Most of my matches, obviously, besides the ones I lost, I was able to maintain anywhere from 13 to 16 health at all times. Then we run four of the best spell for Ancient World, especially in the new meta now with Prisms and Thunder Empire um, and Ball Soleil. Pay Gauge, Pay Life, Rest a Monster. This is now probably in any Ancient World deck with the new meta, a four of staple. Um, this was... I got this every hand and played it every chance I could get. It was an amazing card. Uh, then we run four Reflection Moon, uh, Dragon Moon uh, combos with also Sturdy Dragon Strike, which I also run four of. Uh, so you play Sturdy Dragon Strike, discard two Ancient World cards from your deck, and then gain a gauge, and then Reflection Moon Dragon, pay a life, return a size 3 Dragon Chief Emperor from your drop zone to your hand, and gain a gauge. So you'll drop Kaido or and Sai, and you take Kaido back. Hopefully you have God Jaeger in hand, call God Jaeger, put Sai into his soul, and it just helps set up your plays very well. And then of course you got your staples for Ancient World. Divine Dragon Creation, I only run it at 3, and then I run... Dragon Emperor Legend at three. Both very good, and what's nice is the fact that I maintain so much life that paying the two life for this is like almost nothing. It is amazing. But that is my deck. Let's move on to the sideboard. And in the sideboard, I run three Soaring Dragon Spirits. This is nice, especially against like Oni Assassins. Where you pay a gauge, pop a size one, pop a spell. Um, it's you know it's also nice with like stars and stuff like that. Um, and then I built my sideboard pretty much around prisms, so I threw in destruction. Just drop a card from your hand, destroy an item on the field. Um. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't get to use it. The one Prism match I faced was in top eight, and it uh, the guy bricked both games, so I didn't even really have to uh, side these in. Um, and then, of course, I played two Barb Wire, because why not? You need to rest some items. Um, I put this in because of, like, Battle Poets and stuff, but I didn't see any. I didn't get to play any, so. Um, and then two removes. Uh, gotta have removes. It's like a staple in any sideboard now, along with barbed wire, uh, pay a gauge, and remove up to two souls from a monster on your opponent's field. But that was my deck profile. Um, yeah, played Ancient World, had a lot of fun. Um, during my matches, I played round one. Um, I played like a starter deck Prison Dragon, so it was, really wasn't that hard. And then round two, I played an Oni Assassins, and I played Joel. Um, that was that was rough. Um, that match didn't last longer than ten minutes. He just destroyed me. He went first and like counter nullified my uh, Jaeger, so then I had nothing to do. Um, round three, I played Super Heroines. The guy's deck actually was pretty. Pretty weird. He had a pretty decent combination. Um, that was real nice. Uh, round four, I played a Sun Dragon deck and got Infinity Critted. That was not fun. 
Um, round five, I played the new Wild Dragon variant. That was a fun match. Um, that's actually a deck I might be dabbing into next. Um, and then uh, in top eight, I played Prisms. And like I said, the guy bricked uh, both hands. So unfortunately, it was an easy win for me. And then in top four, I lost to Austin Summers and his Oni Assassins. Man, that was uh that was tough. Um and then for third place I beat a Thunder Empire deck. That was that was pretty easy. I really didn't have too much trouble with that. Um But yeah, that uh that was my deck profile and hopefully to see a bunch of you in Cali for uh Grand Fest and I want to give a shout out to my teammates of Team Plays for Days and especially Khalil for helping me out with my build the night before and we were just going through things and for them to give me the chance to be part of the team and um just helping me out with making my decks and uh, giving me all the support i needed to get this third place victory so i want to give a shout out to all the team plays for days members you guys are great can't wait to go to cali with you guys all right i'm out